In this video we're going to look at coordinates and how to plot coordinates that would complete a given shape. So let's have a look at a typical question. So here's a typical question. It says two sides of a parallelogram are drawn in the grid below. So we have got two sides of the parallelogram, A and B. And let's say then have a look at the question. So the first question, uh, first part of the question is, what is the write down the coordinate of A? So A is here. Remember, it's three along the corridor, for up the stairs, or three across the x-axis, four up the y-axis. So it would be three, four. What's the coordinate for C? So let's have a look at C. C is minus one across and one up. So it would be minus one and one. It then says draw two more draw two more lines to complete the parallelogram A B C D. So remember the parallelogram, the opposite uh, lines are the same length or the parallel, so the same length but also the same direction. All right. So uh, this B C is one, two, three, four, five across. So we're going to draw a line up here, which is five across. So one two, three, four, five across to there. So that there is the point D. Okay, let's just double check. To get from A to B, you would go across one and down three. So to get from D to C then, you go across one and down three. So there is the, two, this is the other line from here to here, which would complete the parallelogram, like so. And the question says, draw two more lines to complete the parallelogram. So we've done that bit. And says write down the coordinate of D. So the coordinate of D, is minus two across, four up. So it'd be minus two, four. Okay, so that's a typical exam question, how to use coordinates to complete shapes. Let's have a look at a slightly trickier one. So here's our second exam question. It says, write down the coordinates of A, B, C. So I've done that already. So A is two, one, two across, one up. B is six, three, six across, three up. And C is four, seven, four across and seven up. The second part of the question, Okay, in the second part of the question, it says plot D so that A, B, C, D is a square. So we've got A, B, C, and we need D. Now, looking at it, D is going to have to be over here somewhere. And let's just see what, uh, where it's going to have to be. So uh, there's different ways to do this. One way would be to do it is to go from each point. So to get from A to B, you go 1, 2, 3, 4 across, and 2 up. To go from B to C, you go 4 up, 2 across. And then to get from D to uh, C to D, you'd then go 4 across and 2 down. So it would be up here somewhere. Okay. Another way to do it would be to draw the sides. So connect up the sides. And then keep your ruler parallel. So I'll have to do it this way. To begin with. All right, this way as well. So you get your ruler. Uh, draw up the side. Uh, connect the sides. So connect A to B. Connect B to C. Okay, uh, so it's going to have to be this length. So it's going to have to be just under five centimeters, and it's going to have to be parallel. So if we move our ruler across to here, well, you can see it's roughly going to be here, zero five. Okay, which would be the coordinate there. Or actually, I would probably use the first method again, where I'm just going. So to go from each side, to get from A to B, you go across four, up two. So to get from here to here, let's just check, you go across four, up two. So this is going to be your coordinate here, D. Okay? And then you just join them up. And that's your square draw.